All right, what's up everybody? Uh, Black Mamba here, doing a video I think that is very necessary uh, and very helpful. It's um, really helped me on, you know, keep my undefeated streak alive. Uh, and I wanted to share it with you guys so more of you can win your grand arenas. It's going to be extremely helpful. Uh, but um, I think I will write out these notes and post it on like a on Discord so you don't have to write down notes if you don't want to. I will do it myself and post later. But um, this is basically the 11 steps to being successful in Grand Arena uh, and mainly how to look at your opponent, see what they have, um, and know what to put on defense and know what you're kind of going up against. So without further ado, uh, I have not said defense yet for this purpose. Uh, but I kind of wrote down, you know, the 11 things. It doesn't have to be in order, but just um, things to look out for. So I guess I'll just start with number one. So basically, when I'm looking at somebody else's roster, before, I, I, don't, I don't look at, I don't just set the same defense over and over again, although it sometimes looks at it if you look at my grand arenas. Uh, it just so happens that all the rosters I'm facing are basically the same. Um, let me, whoops, put this on. There we go. Okay. So when I'm looking at somebody else's roster, the first thing I look at is do they have the best team in the game? Um, and although most people think it's Darth Revan, it's actually G money. So he does have G money, but not grand arena ready. So that does not count at all. He will not use G money. If he puts G money on defense, that's an automatic win. 60 banners, like not even gonna talk about it. So if you don't include G money, the best team in the game is Sith Empire and Malak. So looking at this, he has Malak double zated, but gear 12. Um, so that's kind of big. I'm kind of surprised he's gear 13 to other people and not Malak. Um, so that's kind of the first thing I look for. Uh, and then after that, I mean, that's just number one, number one rule. Second thing, I always organize the roster by speed. First thing I do, I check the first couple of characters. And first thing I noticed, 305 is their fastest character. Uh, I've pretty much already won the Grand Arena, just based off that fact. I have <laughs> like eight characters that are faster than 305. But that's just for my roster. So for, for somebody you're facing, organize by speed and then um, go from there. So already it's, yeah, I mean, he's got a, a decently fast gen at Revan for being gear 12. Um, he's got a good JTR team. So yeah, but guys, check this out. Uh, look at this offense. <laughs> Almost 11K. That's pretty, pretty nuts. But it is his arena team. So uh, that's the that's the second thing I do, um, and then I and then I look at like the key teams that are that are new. So for example, you know five hundred first, yeah, gear twelve, but do they have shock T as well? And as you can see here, kind of middle left, they have shock T with the unique Zeta. I did go through the roster earlier, so unique Zeta, and she is decent on <coughs> excuse me on speed. So they have. That yeah, it's an amazing Galactic Republic team or Padme team, by the way, <laughs> just absolutely amazing. Um, and then kind of another key thing I look for is G Notions, and they are non-existent. If he puts this on defense, uh, yeah, I'm not using Trey. I'm I don't even have to use. I just use one AOE like hit from Wampa, and they're dead. And plus, he doesn't have the Zetas, so he'd be foolish to put this on defense. Um. But then, I mean, those are the key things. But if you're, what I 100% recommend is you go through all the main tags. So, for example, you start with Bounty Hunters. His Django is non existent. That is terrific news for me. The, then I check Bosk and the modding here. 255 is very slow, and it's not going to be the additional 30 speed from Django because he's not going to use Django. Tenacity is, is good, but I mean, 
yeah, that's that's not going to happen. This this guy's bounty hunter team would be a, a free banner team for me if he puts it on D, which I'm expecting him to put it on D, by the way. Probably in a back wall. Uh, uh, droids, I'll check with Separatists. He has Empire. Uh, he has the classic five. This is an offensive team. He will not put this on defense. If he does, I'd be very surprised. Um, I sometimes check Ewoks, but I mean... It's Ewoks. I'd be... I don't know. He might put it on. He has decent mods on Ewoks. But um, it looks like he went through for CPO and then stopped. Uh, he has neglected his first order. This team will not show up on his defensive board. As, as always, his Padme team is amazing. Um, and I highly expect him to put it on offense. There's no way he puts it on defense because even if he does, I'll just use Treya with Thrawn and that'll be a cakewalk. Uh, but he's got some pretty amazing mods on it. And plus, it's modded for Darth Revan Encounter. By the way, always check your opponent's mods, guys, before you place defense. I'm looking at this. This is 100% Darth Revan Counter. This is not modded for anything else besides Darth Revan. So, uh, yeah. He won't be putting that on defense. But anyways, it's a fantastic team. Uh, let's see. Then you keep going. Genosians, we already looked. He doesn't have Imperial Troopers. His Jedi are not great. Uh, comparison I like to do, my Grievous team is my favorite team for defense. And the first, one of the things I like to look at is, okay, well, how can he beat my, my Grievous? Okay, well, number one, he can use Padme. Cool. But that takes away his, his arena team. Um, and then, you know, he doesn't have Bastila Zeta lead. And his Jolie is not modded correctly. It has no additional health. It'll just get destroyed. He doesn't have Hoda Zeta. Um, it's just a very weak Jedi Knight Revan team. So, not going to happen. Then Knight Sisters is a huge defensive team. Huge defensive team. I 100%, okay, 99%, uh, no, I'd probably say 100% guarantee this will be on defense. And I can tell you exactly his lineup. It'll be the first five because he does not have Night Sister Spirit GA ready. And it'll be a Saj lead, no doubt, because he doesn't have Mother Tals and Zetas. So that's an, an easy, easy pickings uh, choice that he, that'll be this will be on defense, no doubt. Um, if he doesn't put on defense, then <laughs> uh, yeah. Karth, 99% of people who have Karth Zeta places on a back wall defense or a front wall defense just on defense in general 99 percent of people uh he will use mission or karth mission zalbar candorus and then probably like a t3 or something or not sorry not t3 l3 or somebody else because he doesn't have t3 or juhani anywhere but he could be one of the people who doesn't put this on defense. Maybe those Zetas were for something else. I have no idea. His Phoenix are not. Yeah. This is this will be an offensive team. He has Chewie and Han well. You know, whatever. So this is pure offense. People put, if people somebody gosh, if somebody puts that on defense, I'm sorry. Okay, so his separatists. This will be a defensive team. Look at your, your opponent's rosters. Check out what they have. And just kind of see this will be offense, this will be defense. Grievous is mostly a defensive team, uh, and they're modded decently well. So, um, And then he's got the, the classic Treya team as well. So the next thing I look for is also Nest. Does he have Nest? And so, yes, he does. Slow and tenacious. So this will probably be, could be with a Cura team. You know, because he's got the Vandor Chewbacca Zeta. So those are the just that's like step three key teams to look at. The next steps will go a lot faster. That's the longest step for those of you still watching. I don't know how many of you guys actually watched all the way or watched these all the way through. Um, so for defensive suggestions, place teams that that bring out meta teams to beat. For example, a Grievous team brings out Jedi Knight Revan and Bastila. Um, 
Gear 13 Night Sisters will bring out Jennet Revan, Treya, or Padme. Jango Fett, like a fast Jango Fett with a fast boss, will bring out a CLS. Because JTR might struggle versus that. Uh, Rex with Shock T's with Rex lead will bring out a CLS as well. So you're making them choose, oh crap, you know, I need, I need Treya for three different of this guy's teams. Or I need my... Padme to be two of these teams. Of what do I do? I don't know what to use. I have to choose between one or the other. Kind of make that dis- make him try to make him or her. Sorry, uh, make that choice. Um, and try to avoid if you can. Try to avoid teams that can be soloed. For example, Ewoks. They can be soloed by one character, or Karth can be soloed by one character, also known as Malak. So just try to avoid. Full five-man teams that can get 64 bannered against. That's a, a big tip. And then place defensive teams that do a lot of area of effect damage. Take Because that'll take away a lot of banners. For example, Grievous, um, Night Sisters, Bounty Hunters. Uh, just teams that do a lot of AoE damage are, are fantastic options for you. Uh, offensively, try and use teams that have the ability to recover HP and protection. Or both. Examples would be like Jedi Knight Revan, because of his, his leadership gives you a bunch of banners when you attack outside of your turn. Thrawn heals up uh, protection on his allies when he swaps TM. CLS with Chewy Zeta uh, gives you know health and protection with the uh, guarded allies. Uh, that would be step number seven. So eight. Uh, once all this above has been thought over, if you know you have random teams that you're still, you know, thinking about, pick which ones that you might need for offense. So if you've set, I don't know, six teams and you have eight that you need to set, uh, of the two teams remaining, or four teams, however you want, might want to think about it, which teams do you not necessarily need for offense? And then put those two remaining on defense. Um, don't go too light or too heavy on defense. Um, this is kind of... It's hard to explain this one, but if, if you keep all of your best teams for for defense, you're going to get absolutely obliterated. Sorry, if you if you well, either way, if you keep all your teams for offense or you put all your teams on defense, you'll just get absolutely obliterated. Um, you just <laughs> you don't want to like for me, I don't want to put Darth Revan, Janet Revan, Padme, Treya. CLS, Grievous, Night Sisters, all of them on defense, because, I mean, what if they put Darth Revan or CLS or Grievous on, on defense? Then I'm, like, totally screwed. So kind of balance it out. Make sure you have... What I always like to say or think about is if they put their best team on defense, if this guy puts his, his Padme and Darth Revan on defense, what if, what, if he, what if he says, screw this guy, I'm not going to win, I'm going to put, you know... Of my six teams, I'm going to put four just freaking insane teams. Can you still beat it while having pretty strong teams on defense? That's the type of offense you want. You want to be able to beat his top tier teams as well as have great defensive teams. At least three great defensive teams is what I like. I mean, I set six, so at least three, at least half. And if you set eight defensive, make sure you have at least four that are like pretty good defensive teams. Um, Also, what I like to do is I like to put myself in my opponent's shoes. So if this is my roster, how would I use this guy's roster to beat mine? Well, I'm like, okay, well, he has a really good Darth Revan. What if he thinks, okay, well, you know, the Darth Revan speeds are faster. Well, I'm going to need you know, my Padme team to beat that. So I'm going to keep Padme for offense. And then maybe I can use Darth Revan on defense if I do that. Okay. Um, And then maybe, you know, you think about something else and this, and I'm thinking, oh, I can probably use Kira Vandor Nest on defense. I can probably use Grievous on defense and because I have a good JTR team. I have a good Treya team. And so you just put yourself in their shoes. What would you do? So for me, I'm kind of expecting, you know, I could see Darth Revan on, on his defense. You know, I mean, I'm kind of hoping so because that would be easy banners. But that's just my opinion. 
Because the reason why I say that is because I know I'm keeping Darth Revan for offense. He doesn't know that. From his perspective, like I said before, he could totally assume, oh, his speeds are better than mine, so he's probably going to put it on defense thinking I can't beat it. So just kind of put yourself in your opponent's shoes. What, what would you do? Uh, lastly, this is that was step 10. Step 11, uh, look at your opponent's stats. A lot of people forget about this. So if you, you go to his roster, you go to stats here, and you go to offensive battles one and defensive battles one, and then their total banners, and then full round clears. All these little stats are kind of helpful. So he has 120 offensive wins and 62 defensive wins with 20 full clears. So if I go to me, I have um, 20 full clears, same as him, with 32,000, and 125 and 47. So he has much more, he has a lot more defensive battles won. But at the same time, don't get don't get too like nitpicky about the offensive and defensive wins because these can be totally misrepresented. Um, let's say somebody just gets really annoyed and sends 15 teams at one defense just because they want to, you know, your stats go up. So that's why kind of, this is the last little thing, you know, take, don't take these seriously. Take these with a grain of salt. These are good numbers to look at, but not, um, most important. But the one thing I do think is very, very, very important is the championship underside squad battles one 75. This lets me know how offensive heavy he goes. 75 undersized, undersized squads. Oh, sorry, that's me. I have 75 undersized squad battle or Grand Arena battles. Gosh, mixing up my words. I have 75. How many does he have? Uh, undersized. 39. Okay. 75 to 39, guys. This is where I think, okay, me personally, yeah, I go like, two to one offense to defense heavy. I don't go three offense, zero defense heavy in terms of like ratios. I go two to one. I'm a pretty offensive heavy guy. Um, and so the 39 makes me think maybe he's a one to one ratio. Maybe he goes, you know, pretty good teams offense and pretty good teams defense. If he had 10 undersized squad battles one, that would mean he goes very heavy defense because of the 62 successful defense uh that's just something to look at so and then last other than the steps i personally make a list um on a on either a spreadsheet because i mean i'm an accountant i like spreadsheets or uh just writing it down um i write down all of my teams um i'm getting ready for the Next division, so I have 16 teams written down, but I only need 12 of them. So basically, I just I write down my 16 teams, and then I then I go to his roster, and I write down every single thing about his roster. I mean, it takes a good 10, 15 minutes. Not all of you have that, but this is just this is how I find success in in Grand Arena. Um, I I write down that he has G money, but it's gear seven. Uh, his clones, you know, could be used on defense with Rex lead and Shock T. Uh, his bounty hunters will probably be used. Uh, and then I, you know, I write down all these things that his, his Padmate's insane. I write down the, that he doesn't have Geos. Um, and then his he has no spirit. I mean, I kind of went over this all with you guys. But as I go through his roster, I don't... Uh, so I, I write down everything. So I don't just say it or or think about it. I write all these stuff down, all the stuff down. So, for example, based off what what he has, I'm able to set, uh, let's see here. I'm able to set Grievous, but I'm going to put that in the back wall. I'm going to set this up front. And then with it, uh, let's see. So we got Django. With it, I can put something like, uh, I'm personally thinking Shock T clones because I will not need them for offense. But remember, for, for offense, Shock T is a better leader. For defense, Rex is a better leader. So 
Where did, I, where did my boy Rex go? For defensive purposes, this would be better. So I'm going to put uh, those two together. Uh, both of those require a CLS to beat. His JTR might be able to beat Django, but I don't think so. Uh, the reason why I don't think his JTR can win, because 339 is the speed, because you get 30 speed from Django's lead. Uh, I just don't think he, he has the the capability of doing this, especially because I have almost 100% tenacity with, you know, <laughs> plus 131 speed on him. And then Boba is pretty, pretty beefy as well. 222 crit damage with 4,500 offense. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think he can, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, down here, I'm going to put teams that require a Treya to beat or a Jedi Knight Revan. So for example, I will put Night Sisters down here. And I personally like to run a Saj lead just because it, you know, it, per, I mean, I think it it gives more RNG in the whole factor just because her lead is just super annoying. Um, all the different turn meter gains and, and this and that. And uh, he doesn't have troopers and I don't think he can, yeah. Fast Spirit, guys, Fast Spirit is the way to go. Um, and then Tanky Daka, as always. Speed obviously helps, but tankiness is way more important. Um, and then with Asajj, so I'm going to put Grievous behind the two CLS teams. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put, let's see, which, which way would he go first? Here, let me let me put my second defensive team here. Um, yeah, these are all mixed up for my sixteen teams, so I'm actually going to put Kira here. Um, I don't use those two with Kira. Um, where's my scoundrels? I use Zalbar and Mission. So that would be my Kira team, um, and I have my nest. Pretty dang fast. She's decently fast. 310 is pretty fast, I'd like to say, with 114% uh, tenacity, so that should do some work. Uh, and then Zalbar, very tanky. Speed doesn't really matter on him. Just uh, over 100k both with 135% tenacity. Tenacious Zalbar is so annoying. Oh my goodness. Um, and then I'm going to... So if I'm looking at him, he probably will use... Jedi Knight Revan, or keep... I mean, his Jedi Knight Revan's pretty weak, in my opinion. He might use Jedi Knight Revan on the Cura team because he probably doesn't want to mess around with Nest. And then looking at him, he will probably use Treya on my Knight Sisters because once he does that, I will hide Treya... Uh, yeah, so I want him to be surprised by my G notions behind the team that requires Treya. So the, the, the bottom, or sorry, the top two teams will likely not cause a Treya. So the reason why I didn't put Geo's top is because if he opens top and sees Geo's, he'll say, oh, I need to keep Treya for those. But he can't see the Geo's in the back until he beats Night Sisters or Kira. And that takes, you know, a Treya most, most likely. This is just my assumptions. Um, and then, of course, I rarely, rarely, rarely keep this team for offense because it's just a phenomenal defensive team. Of my, was it 42, 43 defensive holds, whatever it was, these guys probably have well over 30 of those by themselves. Um, and, yeah. So that would be my defensive strategy. This looks pretty much like usual. Most of you who watch my streams or not streams and or videos see that I typically run this for defense, but it just so happens that it's some of the best ways to go when I'm playing against opponents like my opponent's roster. Um, and with that being said, whatever he uh, chooses to run for offense or sorry, for defense, I have 
Darth Revan, Jedinette Revan, Padme, Treya, JTR, CLS, and Palpatine, all for offense. And then I also have First Order um, and Maul. <laughs> so I have quite a bit for offense, but yeah, that's kind of my strategy. It's a pretty long video, but I hope this really helped. That's just kind of the general gist of what to do. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope this was helpful. Uh, it's kind of been my my guide to how to set GA defense and what to do for offense purposes. Thank you for watching.